Okay. December 30th, 2004. The dog keeps biting this board area and rubbing the, rubbing the spine. Rubbing his back. Uh, the on back. the floor. La. On the floor, anywhere. La. And also the, the fans. Mm. Just rub yeah, the fans, They yeah. keep on rubbing it. Only the top part only. La. Yeah. Always here and mm. here. The flank. Yeah. The ears? Eh? The ears. Uh, no. Do you, do you check the ears? Wait, hold the ear first. Let me check the, the ears. ears. Sometimes it does. Because mm. you, when I bring it for a walk, right, before I leave, uh, mm. you, you hold the, mouth, hold the muzzle first. Uh. Sometimes the ears, you will use the back leg to to scratch, you see. Mm. Okay, hold the ear up first, uh, up like that. Okay. I'll check the ears. Uh. Now see whether it's dirty or not. Do you clean the ears? It's dirty. Uh. Do you clean the ears or not? No. Uh, not very dirty, uh, but it's painful. This side. Try this side. Hold up again. Uh. So I'll just check the ear. It's painful. Uh. What do you put in? Uh? Nothing. Nothing. Uh. Does it use the back leg to the scratch on it? Yeah. Uh, that one is normally the ear painful. Uh. Okay, now the other thing is the inner gland, which I already expressed the oil. Mm. And the oil is here, it's very smelly. Uh. Now, inner, inner sac infection, which I explained to you, the owner already, the two oil glands are infected. So the dog will bite the tail or around the tail area due to this uh, infection of the inner sac. So we do have uh, proof that the inner sac definitely is not uh, not cleared, the oil is not cleared daily. But that is not the main cause. The main cause is the ringworm because mm. there was a stray dog uh, playing with her, right? Mm -hmm. For how long? Oh, a few months already. Mm, you can see from the microscope actually. It's harder to see from this. Uh, Microscopic examination of the hairs. Okay, so we'll treat for ringworm.